Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a um, PR haul. Things that I did receive for review at no charge from Octoly. And I will put in the description box exactly what Octoly is and how that you can um, get free products to review on your channel. Also, um, I want to put out there that there will be links in the description box for all of the products and I do not receive any type of commission from those links. Um, one of the requirements from Octoly is that you use those links that they give you in your description box. Um, another requirement from Octoly is that you post your review within 21 days of receiving the product. Those are the only two stipulations that you have to follow when doing your review of the product. Um, so you can be 100% pure and truthful on any product that you receive through Octoly, um, even with if it's good, bad, mediocre, whatever the case may be. Um, you be truthful in any way and the, oh the other stipulation with Octoly is that I do have to tell you that I received the product for free from them which of course we want to do that because we want to make sure that we are 100% um, transparent with you guys on what we get what I get what any youtuber gets anyway so I have some skincare, some lip care, and some cosmetics and I'm really excited to share with you. So let's get started with this product here from By Terry. This is their um, Balm de Rose um, lip care. Um, they originally came out with this in the little pot and a lot of people were um, complaining that they didn't like dipping their finger into the pot or they wanted a product that was a little bit um, easier to carry along with them for travel for everyday use in their purse so they came out with the same formulation in a lip gloss type formulation well it's not a lip gloss it is a lip balm but just in like the delivery system is like a lip gloss is what I'm trying to say so it's in a tube and then it has the doe foot applicator and then you just put it on your lips throughout the day to moisturize and to um, have really pretty lips and of course it smells just like roses which I absolutely positively love so <clears throat> do like this the only downside with this product is the price it is $53 um, so it is a little pricey for being a lip balm but I like it and I'm glad that by Terry chose me or selected me to receive the product for review okay the next product that I want to talk about is this product here from Julep and I received the Julep Booster Radiance um, Reparative Rose Hip Seed Facial Oil and this is what it looks like here it is a rose hip oil um, combo it has different types of oils in here other than just the rose hip it also has some citrus it has some shea butter um, I seems like I want to say it has some avocado in it look on the box look on the box look on the box um, back here back here is where I seen that at yeah it has shea butter um, bergamot fruit oil the rose hip oil and then the citrus and I definitely do smell the citrus when I use it and um, some people say that rose hip oil has like a fish smell to it I don't get the fish smell but I do get the natural um, earthy smell of it and with this one particularly I do smell the citrus more so um, out of the rose hip oils that I have tried I like this one the best and I I guess because of the combination of all the other different oils and the shea butter in it it just seems like it absorbs into my skin better than any other other rose hip oils that I've tried so I do like it it is a little bit pricey though for being um, the rose hip oil it's around $39 on the Julep website um, so that's kind of a put back but it will last you a while but also you want to keep in mind that with the rose hip oil um, rose hip has a, a tendency to um, go off pretty quick um, 
so that you want to use your rosehip oil, whatever brand it may be, within two to three months of opening it before it goes rancid. So I did receive that from Julep. They also put in there a cognac sponge. I haven't used this. Uh, this was just a freebie that was in there. I didn't know it was going to be, so I um, have not used that yet. Okay, the next products that I want to talk about, there's four products, and I have all of those on my face, and it is all of the cosmetics that I received that I'm super excited to talk to you about. It is 100% um, Pure is the name of the company, and they are definitely a cruelty-free, um, vegan company, and I'm going to get my little glasses on here so I can kind of read you some of the information that they sent with this. Um, Everything in this box, right down to each biodegradable cornstarch, cornstarch packing peanuts. So even the packing peanuts are biodegradable. You can put them on your compost pile or you can dissolve them in the sink and wash them down the drain. Our 100% natural skincare and fruit pigmented cosmetics are always cruelty free and contain absolutely no synthetic fragrance, artificial dyes, chemical preservatives, or any other types of toxins. So, um, if you are someone that is very conscious of what you put on your face and you want products that aren't tested on animals and that are good for your skin, this would be definitely a line to consider. So let's talk about what I have all over my face. I have the BB cream in the color number 10 Luminous, which is a, um, a pink tinted um, Luminous base. This has SPF 15. And um, they had, I want to say, like eight or nine different shades that you could choose from. And this is made in Italy. This is a one ounce bottle, and it was around $39 is the price on it. And I will put some close up pictures of this product also. But I do have it all over my face. It is a very luminous type product. Um, the only thing else I have on my face is. Um, setting powder. This acts as your primer. It acts as some skin care. Of course color. It is buildable. I only used um, like a dime size amount and covered the whole face. I don't like a lot of coverage but you can build it up a little bit more if you need to. Um, with it being luminous I don't know if you if you have oily skin if you would like that. But if you're like me and you have dry mature skin you definitely want to um, add some glow and shine and dewiness and youthfulness to your face and this did it. I really did like that. Um, it spread very easily. It was very easy to apply. I have not had any problems with it caking or creasing or um, fading out. So do you like that? The next product that I'm going to talk to you about is what's on my eyes and it is a velvet eye shadow and the color that I got is called Juju, um, J-E-G-J-U, J-E-J-U, I guess, but anyway, it's a peachy pink color with a little bit of sparkle. I will put up a close, I'll put in a close up of this and I have this all over the lid with a little bit of, um, um, Viseart shadow in the crease, but not a whole lot because I mainly wanted to showcase this eyeshadow. It's just very smooth and velvety. Um, you're probably not going to be able to see it because it's not a very dark eyeshadow, but this is perfect for just putting all over the lid, putting a little bit in the crease, some eyeliner, mascara, and you're good to go. And this runs around $25, and you gotta just Door, the little packaging for it. It's a fruit pigmented satin eyeshadow and cruelty free, no toxins, everything's biogradable, recyclable. The next product that I have that I want to talk to you about is a blush that I received, and the blush color that I got is called Pink Plum. And this is around, what was the price on this? Between $25 and $28, I do believe. There, like I said, there will be links in the description box for it. Um, it is a metal type uh, packaging or 
can be plastic but anyway it kind of reminds me of the um, cargo eyeshadows where it just kind of pulls off and there's the color there now this one here is very pigmented um, I should have put this on with a dual fiber brush um, but because I didn't I got a little bit too much on my brush and it was a little bit difficult to blend uh, just because I had a little bit too much but I think if you used a dual fiber um, blush brush that it would be a lot better but there's the color right there super pigmented um, beautiful it has like a luminous um, flush to it and it's just so pretty I think it's beautiful on the cheeks so pretty I like it I like it a lot and then the last product I want to talk about is their lip product this is called lip caramel and it does smell like um, it smells like butterscotch to me but maybe it's supposed to smell like caramel but to me it smells like butterscotch and the color that I got is a red of course and it's called what is it called oh red velvet I think is what it was called Put my glasses on yes red velvet red velvet is the color now this is a it's supposed to be a long-lasting um, liquid lipstick I will tell you that um, the long-lasting aspect of it is not the way it looks when you first put it on it's more like those YSL lip oils that kind of stain the lips so this is what this does it kind of makes a stain on the lip so as it wears off you're still got a little bit of color but it's just not as vibrant as what it was when you first put it on and let me just watch a bit and then there's the color right there it's just so pretty and of course the smell of it like I said to me it smells like butterscotch oh it smells so good oh it smells good let me read to you what it says on the package um, intense deep saturation of gorgeous colors colored from fruit root and I cannot pronounce this I don't know what this is a c h i o t e seed pigments in a base of lip softening pomegranate oil and cocoa butter so it is very moisturizing and I think because it has a pomegranate oil in it is what's kind of keeping it from being like a matte it's definitely not matte it's a shiny finish and it does not dry down matte at all so it's just really pretty so i have very much been enjoying wearing these um, products for the last few days i think they're wonderful so if it's something that you are looking for a cruelty free um, brand to try i would give this brand a try um, it has some beautiful colors and pigments and definitely the blush i think was definitely a winner on that and the bb cream um, I don't know if I would get the lipstick any more of these, but I think I want to get some more of these um, eyeshadow bases or eyeshadows, another blush. So it's just very pretty and I think it looks beautiful on. I don't know if y'all think that, but I think it does. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe, click on the little bell icon so that you are notified of future videos. I do like to upload on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and I hope you will subscribe and stick around, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.